serial child rapist who was about to get out of prison is questioning the new charges that could keep Wayne Chapman behind bars. The attorney is calling the new charges, quote, extremely convenient. WBZ's Paul Burton has our story. Sex offenders reoffend less than any other type of offender. Speaking at a news conference today, Wayne Chapman's attorney, Eric Tennant, says the system for evaluating sex offenders and releasing them from civil commitment is not perfect, but certainly not broken. If this process was somehow ineffective or resulted in the release of truly dangerous men, you would know. You would know because there would be stories about it. The serial child rapist who was set to be released remains behind bars after he was arrested for an incident at MCI Shirley last week. This after two psychologists says he's no longer a danger because he's too old and too frail. Tenen also had a doctor share his expert opinion of how data shows sex offenders over the age of 60 have the lowest rate of reoffending once released. If those men and many more who have been released were still confined civilly for something they might do in the future, we now see that most of them would be falsely imprisoned. They are not committing further sexual offenses. Baker recently filed legislation to increase penalties for child predators. Today, he stands by his position. I'm not spreading falsehoods at all. My point of view on this is really simple, which is based on what I have heard people say in court, is that no one suggests that Wayne Chapman is suddenly um, turned over a new leaf with respect to uh, his psychological state and that because he is of a certain age he is no longer a danger to the community and I've said several times that I think that's a judgment call and it's a judgment call that I believe should have been reviewed by more than just two people I think we know they got it wrong because he reoffended even before he got out we know that he did that because he's now under arrest for a new charge. Chapman is due back in court on June 27th. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.